What is up everybody welcome back to another video recently i've been on a big binge on youtube of all the jordan zip videos he just has so much style so much pizzazz when he plays that i transcribed for you guys three of my favorite jordan zip licks um if you don't know who he is he's the new guitar player for rat and he also tours with marty friedman and his playing is just wicked. So without further ado, let's get into these three licks. So this first lick, don't laugh at me. It's more about phrasing and the idea. And uh, this is it. And we're in E flat, by the way. So you can either tune down or just follow what my fingers are doing. So... Real simple, but the whole idea is that when you go down a half step or play any in-between note and bend up a half step to a note that's on the particular scale that you're playing, it just sounds so cool. It just sounds so cool. So here's a tiny lick to get you started on it. So what I played was uh, nine, 912 and that's on the B and high E string then I go down to 11 on the high E and bend up and kind of slowly let it down Then I go 9, 8, 9, and then I go back to 8 and bend up half step. So slow. Uh, so our second lick is something that he played in a solo right before he played Bohemian Rhapsody. And it just sounds super cool. It's super, you know, mean and nasty and bad, so... I'll play for you guys right now. Ooh, isn't that so cool? Let me play it again. Epic. All right, so let's get into it. First part, uh, again, we're in E flat, so this is the E flat minor pentatonic or the E, however you want to look at it. But it's open E string. Then the second fret on the A and D string. So it's open, third fret, two, two. Then it's open, then third fret, then open. So open E, third fret, open. Then we go to the second fret on the A and do this cool little trill. This trill goes like two, three, two, one, and then two, one again after. Kind of played as notes, it'll tie in later. So, so far, all together we have this. Epic. Now, after we play that on the trill, we just go three, two, one on the low E string. And that's kind of the first part. So cool. Then we go up to the fifth fret. Then, uh, we play 5th fret on the low E string, followed by 6th fret on the low E string. 
followed by fourth fret, fourth fret on the A and D string. Then we play this minor, or not minor, excuse me, diminished arpeggio. That goes uh, six on the low E, four on the A, seven on the A. Then we do the same trill, but now it's starting on the fourth fret, going to the fifth. So after you do that trill, you kind of play around with this uh, major triad. So that's four on the D, three on the G, four on the D, then six, then three, both on the G. So that second half all together should sound like this. Now when we put it all together, And a little bit faster. So sweet. Uh, the last one, if I'd hazard a guess, I think he probably stole from Extreme. Uh, the intro solo to Mother has this. But uh, let me grab a sharper pick before I try and do this. Now, it's kind of an idea again. You can really run wild with this like he does. The whole idea is using four notes and just kind of playing around with them using this cool picking pattern or whatever pattern you want to use, really. I'm just here to teach you the notes. So uh, He does this uh, in sync and harmony with Marty Friedman on stage right before he plays Bohemian Rhapsody. And it goes like this. So I'll call these out. This is uh, 16, then 12 on the high E string. Then on the B string, we got 15 and 12. So it's 16, 12, 15, 16, 12, 15, 12, 15, 12, 16, 12, 15, 16, 12, 15. I'll play it super close up, super slow. Again. And when you speed it up, it sounds like this. All right, guys, that is going to be all for this video. I hope you guys learned something. And if you enjoyed it, subscribe. If you want to see more like it, leave me a thumbs up. If you liked it and learned something, and if you hated it, leave me a thumbs down. Um, and let me know what you guys want to see next in the comment section down below. I uh, do read all your guys' comments. So, yeah, go say hi or something. And with that all being said, I will see you guys in the next video.